Hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football and today's video is about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer getting the sack at the end of the season unless he miraculously turns it around and plays like he was when he first joined the club, wins the Europa League or gets top four. Okay, so rumours are coming in that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to get sacked. Numerous reports and these reports were the same about Van, Van Hal. They said they're going to give him to the end of the season and then he's going to get sacked. And that's exactly what happened with Van Hal. So I am very likely in believing that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will be sacked at the end of the season if he doesn't finish top four or win the Europa League. I'd be very surprised if he didn't because these are the same reports that said Jose Mourinho was coming to Man United. There was talks of Jose Mourinho coming to Man United. Van Gaal will be sacked at the end of the season. It was the same reports that were basically saying that. It's the same reports that said Jose Mourinho would be sacked. You know, and they're saying that Oli is going to be given to the end of the season and he's going to be sacked. Obviously, Man United, the club, aren't going to come out and say that this is true because, like, they can't. But, like, I believe that Oli Garner Solskjaer will personally probably be sacked at the end of the season. So make sure you hit that like button and subscribe down below to Alice Talks Football so you don't miss any football-related content, Man United-related news, and more. So, yeah. So reports that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to get sacked at the end, end of the season doesn't surprise me. Now, I like Ole. He's a nice guy. He's a nice person. He's a good player for Man United. But as a manager, I believe that he's out of his depth. You know, not many managers could go and turn around this United squad. With the ball backing them and the owners behind them, it's a very hard job to do. You know, Klopp, probably the best manager in the world right now, as much as I hate to say as a United fan. Could he win the league with Man United? Probably not. He could, he could be a lot better than we are right now. But with the board, with Woodward in charge, it is a very hard job. To, to do much. It just shows how Ferguson was above all on like all levels because we've just seen how hard this job is since Fergie has left. And when I look at Oli in the situations he's in, okay, Tom and I injured for about four months of the season. Pogba's been injured for pretty much most of the season. Rashford's injured to the end of the season. He had Martial out for three months. You know, he lost Luke Shaw for a little bit. Like, injuries have been horrible for him. So, in fairness to him, if he does finish top four, like, he's not done that bad. But it's not even where he's finishing. For me, it's the way he's playing. As a Man United fan, like, I like Oli. He's a nice guy. So far. I don't enjoy the way he plays. He plays with two holding CDMs. And I just want to see one holding CDM. Because two is so defensive. We part the bus. And we're not scoring goals. We're not creating chances because of how deep we play. I, like, even when... Uh, Matic, Tom and I, Pogba was injured. Instead of playing Fred at CDM and maybe Bruno and Pereira ahead, he was like, okay, I'll play Pereira out of position at CDM. Didn't work. I'll play Bruno out of position at CDM just because there has to be two CDMs. And it's a bit passive. It's a bit... It's a it's a bit boring, and as you can see from that formation, we're struggling to create chances. We're struggling too much because for me, it's too defensive. It's too Jose Mourinho, and I'm just not enjoying the way Oli plays. Now, back on the subject of Oli Gunnar Solskjaer being sacked at the end of the season. Now, it's very believable that, we'll, that we'll, they will give him to the end of the season because everyone's saying you need to give a manager time, all this time, time thing, and he doesn't really give them any aggro. He doesn't come out and say, oh, the board's crap, it's corrupt and stuff. So they're quite like him. He doesn't give them any aggro. He's, you know, he doesn't demand a lot of money off them, if you know what I mean. So it's very unlikely that he's going to get sacked during the season. And the second thing is, which is very Woodward Glazer thing is, the most linked manager to us is Mauricio Pochettino. And if we get Mauricio Pochettino during the middle of the season, we have to pay Spurs money. But Edward Wood and the Glazer are all about saving money. So realistically, keep Oli to the end of the season, but a bing bada boom, slam Pochettino so we don't have to pay Spurs a payout fee. And the second reason why Pochettino is very appealing to Manchester United, and this is really sad, this is how the board thinks. Pochettino consistently got Spurs top four with little money being given to him. And that's probably what the Glazers want. They want top four so we get more revenue from the Champions League. But they're like, we don't want to give him much money. Pochettino, we don't give him much money, but he'll get consistent top four because Champions League revenue. And it's quite sad, but that's probably how the Glazers think. And I think Poch is their number one target. I mean, there's Allegro getting linked as well. But I think the way he's Premier League proven, you can do it with a small budget. Brings you through, which I really like. He obviously brought Harry Kane through. He developed Deli Alley. You know, that's something very Manchester United style. And I think he's exactly what Woodward and the Glazers are looking at. And there are rumours that they're having talks with Pochettino. And that Pochettino says, yes, he will come to Manchester United if they give him freedom over transfers and stuff. And that is very believable. And I think that Pochettino will most likely sign for Manchester United in the summer if things continue the way they are. If Ole goes on a run and wins the next 12 Premier League games and the Europa League, then obviously they will keep Ole because, you know, he doesn't demand much, little money, helps them play their game. But I think Ma Mauricio Pochettino to Manchester United is very likely. Now, I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has done some good things at Manchester United. He's got rid of the Deadwood. He's brought in four good players that we want to look see at Man United, plus a Galo, um, that I think will be the first stepping stone in turning us around. You know, we've sold off the Lukaku, the sort of the players that don't want to be here, using up the wage bill. We got a lot of, rid of a lot of the Deadwood, Rojo on loan. You know, Smalling wasn't so much Deadwood, but like, we need to get rid of Jones and Lingard. But, you know what I mean, Ashley Young's gone. 
So he's not applaud Oli for that, you know, he's got rid of the Deadwood and he's brought in four players that we actually want to see at Man United. He hasn't gone for some 30 year old aging weirdo. He's gone for players that are sort of young, exciting and decent players, players that Man United should be going for. So I do applaud him for that. But I think, I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer probably will go. I think he's way out of his depths at the job. You know, he managed Mulder and then he's coming to a Man United. And Man United, that is probably one of the worst run teams in the league. And you're expecting this guy to do miracles. You know, I feel bad for him. You know, it's, it's a job that he can't deny, but it's not an easy job. And it'll be very hard for most managers. You know, Jose Mourinho, a proven winner, didn't do very well in this job. You know, Van Gaal did amazing at um, the, Netherlands, the Netherlands of the World Cup. Didn't do well in this job. And he came out and said the people at Man United are not football men. They're businessmen, which is 100% true. But th this is Dallas Talks Football. And I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little... Poch to Manchester United update and a talk about Solskjaer leaving. I think it's very likely that Solskjaer will leave Manchester United in a season slash retax slash resign or something. But you know, I think maybe it's for the best. And I've not really been Oli in, Oli out, but I'm just a little bit bored of the way he plays. So I'm starting to go a little bit Oli out. Although I don't want to say Oli out because he's a club legend. He's brought in some good players. He's got rid of the devil, but the way we're playing, I don't enjoy watching it. Thank you for watching Alice Talks Football. If you're a Manchester United fan or you just like general football news content and more, click that subscribe button down below as I try and post daily. Hit that like button and thank you for watching.